Today we're going to do a comparison video between the Beretta 92FS and the Beretta 96 Elite that's coming up next here on Jesse B Outdoors. Welcome back everybody and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave a comment down below if you like videos like this. First off, I'd like to thank my pastor again for letting us have the Beretta 96 here to do videos with. In this video, we're doing the comparison with the 92FS. What we're going to do is we're going to take it over to the table. I'm going to show you guys some of the differences on these. And then we're going to take them outside and shoot them. And I'm going to tell you my shooting impressions of them. And then one of these is going to be a winner at the end of the video. And see which one I'm going to pick. You'll see that at the end. So let's get started. Now we're at the table. The first thing I want to do is, is I want to show clear. You can see nothing in chamber. No magazine in this. Same with this gun, nothing in chamber, no magazine with this. The first thing I want to do is flip this one up to fire because the first thing we're going to talk about is the safety decocker here. Now on the Breda 92FS, this one, you pull it down to decock it and that puts it back into double action. But once you let go, it stays in safety mode and your trigger is dead on that. You got to flip it back up to fire and then the trigger will reactivate for double action. And then, of course, when the slide goes back, that'll be in single action right here. Now, the other thing I want to show you guys, since I just did that, a lot of people grab right here and they have a habit of knocking the safety off like that when they rack the slide. And then they got a dead trigger and then they got to figure out why. That's one reason why I don't like this gun is because it's not a G model. Now, let's go over to the Beretta Elite here. Now, on the Elite, we're going to drop the slide on this. And you can see it's in single action. We're going to pull it down into cock it. Because this is a G model, that flips right back up into fire. So it's never on safe. So we go to pull the trigger again. We got our double action pull. And of course, go back for our single action here. But the other thing I like about this is if you do hit that safety when you go to slide, just like that and release it, this bounces back up. So no matter what, you're going to be able to fire this gun and it's not going to knock it on safe. That's one thing I really like about the G model is the safety. Now the next thing I want to talk about on these and show you the difference on it is going to be the sights. Yes, you can see here the rear has got white dots on both sides. And the front, I can't get it to focus because I'm holding both guns here. But these have white dots in the front. Now on the FS here, you can see the front sight right there is actually machined into the gun there we focused in and you cannot replace it or adjust it for windage on the rear you can adjust it for windage but not the front and you can replace the rear one but not the front on the fs now we're going to go to the 96 elite here and you can see this is dovetailed and there's the front sight so you can see the white dot on it but you can adjust the windage on this and you can also change it out and then the rear is the same way this has got a little bit more of a ledge on it. I like that in case you got to use it for one-handed manipulations. This one is not pronounced on the FS. This one will grab a lot better. But you can see it's adjustable for windage and you can change it out. So there's another difference here on the sights. Now there is a couple of differences with the slide too because this is a Brigadier. But we're going to go over that here in a little bit. I want to go over with the gun together first. So the next thing we're going to look at is the hammer here. Now this is purely cosmetic if you ask me, but this hammer here is the combat hammer and that's the way it looks like. It just has a little hole through it right there. And then we'll decock that one. And then the hammer on the Elite, I think it looks a lot fancier on the Elite. I think it's skeletonized and it looks a lot cooler, but to me, and it don't make no difference, they're both going to function the same way. This one just looks better. Now the next thing I want to go over is the trigger here and this is the 92FS here. You can see the trigger right there. This is polymer. This does not stick to it. This magnet doesn't. But on the 96 Elite here, this one is made of metal. And you can see it goes right to it and sticks to it with no issue. That's one thing I really like about this model. This is metal and you don't have the flex like polymer. Now I'm going to show you something else. Let's move to the mag release here. Mag release. That is also metal too. We'll just let this hang from it right there. You can see that is metal on the 92FS. 
it's made out of polymer so this won't stick to it so that's another thing i like better about the elite here is the trigger and the mega release are both metal now there's only two other things that i could really see that's different on these two models here on the fs you got a lanyard loop on the 96 elite you don't but then if we set them side by side here you can see the 96 has more of a bevel in the magwell than the 92 does that's about all I could find that's different on this between the two. The groups are slightly different, but they're pretty much the same. So let's go to the slides because there's a huge difference in the slides. Let's take these off and take a look at them. All right, now we got the slides apart and I didn't want to get my other mat dirty. So I got them on this dark black mat here. But the first thing I want to show you guys is the recoil spring and guide rods are exactly the same and they're both polymer on this. Now on the 92S I did a review on that had a metal guide rod, but with the Elite and the regular FS, they both have polymer. And of course, you could take the guide rod right out of the spring on both of these. So no difference there on that. Only difference is probably going to be the spring rate on those. Now the barrels, the barrels are going to be exactly the same. Same lockup and everything, except for on the Elite, you get the same brush stainless look. Now for you caliber people out there, if you want to see this, this video is not about a caliber, just a gun comparison. But we got the 9mm on the left and the 40 cal on the right, so you can see the difference in the hole in the barrel. Now the big difference here comes into the slide. And what I want to show you guys, we're going to zoom in here real quick. We're going to get these lined up. And we're going to see how much beefier the slide is here on the Elite compared to the FS. It's a lot beefier on this, and the contour of it's different too. It's got a nice little hump right here. I think that is really nice for cosmetics, where you can see right here on the 92FS, it's just flat across. But that's the main difference with the slide here. The Elite is made a lot beefier, and then it don't have the little hump in here. But I think the Elite looks a lot better than the FS on that. So that's one thing that goes to the Elite that I think is really nice is the beefiness of it. Now for curiosity, I want to see what the trigger pull is on these guns. You can see here I got my Wheeler trigger pull gauge and it only goes up to 8 pounds. Both of these guns go to 12 pounds on the double action, so we're just going to check the single action. So this is the FS. We'll try this one first. I'm going to try to get these in about the same spot here. Get that to break here. And we can see right now that was just under four and a half pounds on the single action on that one. Now we're going to move the Elite over here. I accidentally bumped my camera. Get this zeroed out here. Pull the hammer back on that. And let's see where the Elite is here. Try to get it in about the same spot. All right, and we got a little bit over four and a half pounds. Now, I can tell you guys right now, I know the owner of this gun, and I've owned this gun since it was brand new, and I can tell you this FS has got a ton more rounds through it than what this one does. I've had this gun for over 10 years. He's had it for about the same time, but he don't shoot near as much as I do, and he even told me that. So that's probably why the trigger is a little bit better in the FS over the Elite. I almost bet you if they had the same amount of rounds, they'd be about the same. So now I showed you all the differences on both of these guns. Let's take them outside and get my shooting impressions of them. All right, now we're outside here. And what we're going to do is we're going to put 30 rounds through both the guns here. Because the 40 only holds 10 rounds. This is the 92 FS and I got 10 rounds in this. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the first couple here in double action. I'm going to shoot at the big silhouette target on the frame here and do the double action. I already got this one ready to go. Bred a 92 FS. All right, let's decock it. Forgot this ain't a G model like the other one. All right, not bad. Let's just have fun. Miss the coyote. Not bad, not bad. Let's grab the 96. All right, now we got the 96 here. Same thing. I'm going to do two double action on the big silhouette on the stand. All right. All right, I think on the double action here, we'll decock it one more time. I want to do one more shot here. 
I think on the 96, it's a tad bit smoother on this one. All right, let's have fun again. All right, not bad, not bad. Make it the zine through first of both of these. This is not a caliber war, but I think the Elite is a tad bit better than the regular. Let's try these out again. All right, now we're back to the 92 FS here, and what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna double tap on all the big targets here, starting with the MGM Coyote, and we'll go from there. Ah. Missed the little one a couple of times, but not too bad, not too bad. Now let's grab the 96. All right, now with the 96 Elite here, same thing, double tap on all of them. I think I did about the same with both of them on that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did about the same with the misses. If I edit this and catch it down below, I'll put the misses of both of them down below on this. Let's try one more magazine apiece on these. All right, we got one more magazine apiece left. What I want to do is go at the plate on the rack here, and I just want to do reset and really concentrate on hitting them. Let's go here with the FS. All right, hit every single one of them with a nine millimeter. Now let's try the Elite here. All right, now we got the Beretta Elite 96 here. Let's do the same thing here. See how many times we could hit it. Ooh, missed. Thing about 40 is it rocks that plate a little bit more, so I'm gonna let it stop here. Ooh, another miss. Yeah. All right, I shot that one a little bit too quick. It was really swinging, but I did hit it. I did miss a couple of times with this, but I can tell you right now, it was me, not the gun. All right, so what's my final thoughts on the Beretta 92 FS versus the Beretta 96 Elite? The main thing I want to look at here is not 9mm versus 40 cal. I like shooting both of them that way. But to me, is the regular better or is the Elite better? And on that one, I got to say the Elite's better. I pick and chose the Elite. I think the trigger, because it's metal, feels so much better. And I think it has a little bit smoother trigger pull than this, even though this has a tons of round through it. I also like the fact that the may release is metal on that and it's polymer on this. Um, what else do I like better about the Elite? You can change the sights out front and rear where this one is just milled in on the front and you can't uh, drift adjust or take out the, or you can drift adjust and do the rear and change it out on this but not the front is what I was trying to say. But like I said, overall, got to go with the Elite. It's the winner. So as always, don't forget to check the links out down below. Down there I have links to Axle Hearing Protection, Gators Eyewear, and a bunch of other companies I like dealing with. There is some affiliate accounts down there, and you guys do have discount codes to save you guys money. Also, if you guys use that links, it helps me with ammo to purchase for to do videos like this. So also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Leave a comment down below. We are One Nation Under God, and I'll see you all on the next one.